Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is episode two of Let's Play Planet Zoo, the new series. And look at these guys, look at how cute these little tapers are. And I actually did look up how to say the name, it is Taper. Um, but aren't they cute? They're just, you know, hanging out, doing taper things. Yeah, I quite like them. And uh, what else do we have here? This is, uh, what do we have, mandrels? Ah, yes, we have mandrels. They're pretty awesome looking too. But yeah, our zoo is coming along. We just kind of did a couple of habitats and a couple of exhibits in the last episode. By the way, this is the Stromboli Zoo because it's in Italy, or at least that's kind of where I'm imagining it to be. So I wanted to give it like, you know, an Italian food name. Um, I do want to build a few more habitats at some point, but really the thing I'm going to need to start focusing on very soon is getting some guest service buildings, uh, bathrooms, food, benches, that kind of stuff, because I don't have any of it right now. And usually around 300 guests is when, uh, you know, they say to start adding that in. So I will start doing that probably soon. And then I just have to start planning out what else I'm going to put in. I do want to make sure I'm keeping an eye on my exhibits because they do make a lot of money early on. Uh, especially the Titan Beetles because they breed like crazy. So I'm going to want to keep an eye on them. What, what kind of uh, challenges do I have? Drink profits, which obviously I can't earn right now. 300 guests in the zoo and I have to adopt and place two more exhibit species. And I think there is also a community challenge right now, which there was not one when I last played. So I'm going to need to keep an eye on that as well. But I don't, I don't have three star African elephants, so I'm not going to worry about it. But all right, let's see. I need to get a security guard. So... Let's do that. I mean, I feel like it's still kind of early for a security guard, but the game's telling me to get one, so I'm just going to do it anyway. Oops. I don't usually give work zones to security guards or caretakers. I mean, maybe there's a better way to do that. I don't personally use work zones for them because I feel like they just kind of meander and do what they need to do. I'm going to just have the one for now because I don't think we need anything else. How are our stars doing? Obviously, our conservation rating. I don't think I've released anything to the wild yet, so I can't do anything with that. Um, guest education. Now, I do have education stuff, but it does take a little while. Wait a minute. I didn't set up the mandrels education stuff. I didn't? Whoops. Okay, hang on. Let's do that then. That would probably be helpful. It would be helpful. Let's do that. I know that there's another speaker somewhere. Here it is. Okay. Now we've got that. So that'll hopefully help our education. I'm going to be messing up how I rotate the camera, by the way, because I'm so used to playing The Sims. And the rotation is the exact opposite of what it is in <laughs> Planet Zoo. So please bear with me while I'm doing that. I'm probably going to mess it up in The Sims now that I'm back to playing Planet Zoo as well. So fun times. I'm just, you know, mom brain. Uh, all right. So we've kind of been moving back and forth from the tapers and the mandrels. I'm going to actually go to tapers now because we actually do have a couple of mandrel research done at this point. I think. Wait, do we have that yet? Let's take a look. Where's my... They're probably in the trees, aren't they? Yeah, here he is. Yeah, totally didn't click on him. All right. Um, come here. Or her, rather. Do I just have the one? Oh. I think I have two. Right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Enrichment. We don't have any enrichment yet. So let's put the block of ice in. Which actually, I think the... Taper? No, tapers can't use it. Never mind. Okay, ice block. Got plenty of climbing stuff. Mandrel. Okay. All right. Well, that helped. What? Oh, game. Why are you like this? Okay. All right. Yep, yeah, that helped. Okay. I still don't know where the other. Mandrel is though. It does say that there's two. Yeah. 
Animals. Bari. Oh, maybe... Is he also in a tree? Where the heck is he? He might be... Oh, wait. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Okay. Cool. How's our money doing? Money is doing well. Uh, do I want to put anything else in? Or do I want to actually start putting... Oh, I can start selling Titan Beetles is what I can do. So let's see. Uh, who are the older ones? It's hard to tell, actually. Young adult, young adult, young adult. Oh, whatever. All right. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. And we'll just take a bunch, leave one boy and one female. Did I leave a girl? I'll leave her. Yeah, there's two left. Yes, okay. So now I can sell them. Ooh, nice amount of money for that. Okay. Got a guest. Hey, it's Salvatore again. He must like h hanging out here because it's a, uh, it's an Italian zoo. And that is a very Italian name. Although I think if you were really going to say it in Italian, it would be Salvatore. Salvatore, I think. Yeah, I, I have terrible accents, so <laughs> I try. I do know a little Italian, but I'm not fluent in it by any stretch of the imagination. Are any of my habitat animals pregnant yet? Probably not. And I don't think there's anything I can give them, right? As far as... Yeah, no, because this is all stuff that's been here and they don't want it. So I'm going to have to wait. Nope, don't put that there. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for them right now? Not really. I think I'm going to probably want to start putting in the guest stuff because I do want them to be able to stay a little longer. And in order for that to happen, they need to have some facilities. So let's do that. Let's pause real quick. I am going to just put some plain stuff down again because I want to be able to build up things as I go. Uh, one thing I really like to do is I like having the gift shop and the info area in the entrance. Huh. Select a grid. I never know if I'm doing this right. Actually, let's let's do that. That way I can put another building on the other side. I, I do want to make a slight queue. I'll do that. That way I have room for another queue for like the food. Lenny balloons. And then information like that. Yeah, those two can go there. And then chief beef. Actually, I don't hate that because now there's like a, a decent sized queue line right there. And then I have room for like some benches and stuff and an ATM machine. Yeah, I don't hate that. I know it looks a little funky, but... I don't hate it. Go be, And then we just need bathrooms. Hmm. Could go like this. Do I really want the toilets right next to the food? Or, yeah, no. Let's put the toilets here. Well, but then they might be in the way of... How? Could I build a path? to go this way I could right and just have them be in the back I mean it might be a little funky only because they're gonna have to no it'll be fine I'm just gonna I'm gonna hello I, I said a line to grid why are you like this it's not I wanna what's your problem do I need it to be smaller? Oh, wait, there. Okay. Hmm. 
Is that working, though? I think I was supposed to put down the path first, right? Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Nope. Okay. I think I might need to put the path down first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Like that. But then it won't let me go over there. Because it's it's too big. Mm. Yeah, I can't. Alright. Maybe I can't do that then. See, I just, I want it to be neat. I'm trying. I just want it to tr go like this. And we could even have it, uh, let's do 45 degrees. Like wrap around like this, perhaps? Yeah. And then I should have room for the bathrooms right there. Uh, nope, I need to edit this group. Okay, and then I can put down the potties. Yeah, perfect. Now, unfortunately, there's not as big of a queue line for them, but I've got two of them. It should be fine. I'll decorate that all eventually. Um, I don't have a ton of money for benches, but I do kind of want to put some benches in. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I need to go here. Oh, and an ATM. Do I have the money? I kind of have the money. Let's just put the, ta the ATM like right here. Well, actually, no. Let's have it face this way. That way they're not blocking people trying to get into the park. And then maybe a few benches. A couple of these. And regular bin. I'll be putting more benches down eventually, but again, I, I gotta be careful with how much I'm doing right now. Uh, oh, the vendor should probably... Where's the vendor for this place? Oh, there they are. I'm trying to remember how I have vendors usually set up. I know I usually give them some sort of a work zone, but I don't remember what I do specifically. Hurry up and get over there. People need to buy drinks. Go. Get in there. Go. There you go. Okay. Open up. And everybody's like, oh, hey, the drink place is open now. Yay. Okay. Yes, I know I'm low on cash. It's fine. We're fine. Okay, I don't hate how this is laid out so far. Is it the most efficient? Probably not. But of all of the zoos I've personally made so far, I like it. I like how there's a big wide open area here. Like I said, I do want to put like um, a big sign, like a big welcome sign right there with some benches and just have like a nice little, what's the word? Not a courtyard, but just you know, trees and make it look pretty, but we're going to wait for a little while for that. Got the bathrooms, got the ATM. And these queue lines are already super long. wonder how much money I'm making on drinks. Wait, what? How is it saying one now? Adopt and place... Oh, because I think I, I bought the puff adders, actually. I'm pretty sure. How are we doing there? Um, market. Obviously, we don't have any marketing yet. Kissed Happiness is actually really good right now. Conservation, we have like a tiny little tick there, but that's about it. Okay, I'm going to wait until my money goes up. And then... I don't know. I'll work on something else. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to do. Oh, cool. The mandrills are about to have a baby. That research is complete. 
Did I get a workshop? Because if I did, I have to have my mechanic working on something. Oh my gosh. I'm not having them work on anything. Um, Trying to think of what the most important thing is. Probably staff facilities. Having the larger ones would definitely not hurt. Okay. I know we are low on cash. I know. It's fine. We're good. Okay. Okay, got the guests doing guest things now. Oh, a yearly drink profit. So I guess I have to wait and see how that goes. Oh, I still have to fix their house. I noticed it when I was editing last time. And it, like it was behind the fence. So now they have a little bit more room. Or at least they have a little bit more room in their habitat. I don't even think that that was affecting anything. Oh, but we have too much short grass, so let's give them some rock. Because I guess it wouldn't hurt. Or more soil. There. I like putting, like, oh, now we have too much soil. Of course we do. All right. I think we're good now. And then how are the tapers doing? They're good. Might get too much short grass for them as well. I'll have to pay attention to that. Everybody's good temperature wise. Seems like it. I am going to have to watch that though because I think they're both like, they don't mind warmth, but they're not a fan of it being cold. And in the grasslands, it might get kind of chilly in the winter. I'm not actually sure. They need a bigger social group. I'm going to have to eventually get more of them. Once I have a little bit of extra money, I'm going to get another exhibit. Because the exhibit animals do really help with money early on. Wh what? Excuse me? How in the even? What dangerous animal? What? 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 <laughs> he didn't- Oh. Dang it. Okay. Hang on. He didn't escape though. He didn't escape. I gotta move that tree. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, hang on. Whoa. All right, we got to move the tree because the tree is like over the fence and the game is not happy about that. All right. Same with this tree. And then I think uh, I'm going to move that one anyway. There. Now I don't think the game can freak out. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good now. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the Titan Beetle had more babies. Already. It's amazing. They have these babies so fast. Uh, that one's old, so we'll take him. Two girls? Doesn't really matter which one. There we go. Sell them. Here we go. More money. Have the Puff Outers had any babies yet? Because I feel like those things breed like crazy. Alright, well, they're gonna get one eventually. Or one. They're gonna have like 17 eventually, but you know. Okay, so my mandrills are back. They're not escaping, quote unquote. I think we're good. That research is complete, so I can I can move that back over to the mandrills. Or even the titan beetles. I don't know how helpful it is to... What am I doing? Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, let's see what I got for the tapers. This should be for them, right? Yep. Have a ball. And food. Have a barrel. 
air. Okay. That should make you a little happier. Still have plenty of room. What is this? Oh yeah, we're low on cash. Yes, game, I know. I don't know how long it's going to take for these guys to be born. Probably not super long. Is there anything else I can do to get some more money? Not yet. Oh, I know why it's not telling me I have drink profits. Because I'm still operating in the negative. I've got to wait because I have to actually have it, you know, cover the cost of the building itself. And operating costs and whatnot. So it's going to take a little while before I actually get a profit. But, I mean, people seem to like it, so it shouldn't take too long. Come on, puff adders. I wonder how long... Does it say in the Zoopedia how long it takes for that? It should. Puff adder. Oh, wait. Six months? Really? Oh, so the Titan Beetles are much shorter than that then. I mean, they're bugs, so... One month. Oh, okay. I wonder what other exhibit animals have a shorter... Obviously, the snakes are going to have longer ones than the bugs. I would assume spiders and bugs. But Okay, so the tarantula is three months. Uh, that's, that's a habitat guy. Uh, this guy. Three months, so that's not too bad. But they only have, like, one baby at a time. Frogs? Ooh, these little guys might be good. Oh, reproduction in captivity is difficult. Okay. Iguana is only going to be one. Goliath frog is probably one. One to two. Yeah, probably not worth it. Goliath be a Whoa. I'm going to want to get some Goliath beetles. Although it says difficult in captivity. What does it say about the Titan beetle? Wait, really? Because it's not difficult. Does it say difficult about all of them? Oh. These... Two to four per mating event, and they're very easy. Okay, so once I have the money, I am, as much as I hate spiders, <laughs> going to get a Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Because, yeah. Oh, wait, actually, the these guys are easy. No, their incubation period is longer. Yeah, no, we're going to go with the... Although their interbirth period is longer. Actually, these might be better. I don't know. I feel like the Titan Beetles are doing... The seal. She's already pregnant, so... Yeah, I might end up getting either the Tarantula or the Centipede, or both eventually. Obviously, I will have both eventually, but not at the moment. I do have to figure out how I'm going to decorate this. I want it to just be one big building. And then maybe have the roof extend out a little bit so that there's some cover for, you know, the elements... It's hot for December. I don't think Italy is that hot in December. It's what, like 90-something in Fahrenheit? 100? It might be 100, actually. Ooh, what did I get? There we go. Okay, I guess I can get another exhibit. I think... Here, let's edit this. There. We are going to add another one. Here, let's pause for a sec to the left of it like so and then I feel like I need to move this it's kind of in the way now but then I mean I guess I don't need one for well no I probably should have one for every species I don't know if I need one for every species, but that's usually what I do. I just worry it's going to block them. Well, maybe not. All right. So salmon pink tarantula, I think, is the one I'm going to go for. Brazilian. Oh, there's only one. But there's not a lot of stuff right now. There's no centipedes either. Really? Really? We might have to check back then. 
Oh, I didn't check the scorpion. They actually have a high rating for that. And they're not too expensive. Let me check the scorpion. I completely forgot about them. Uh, giant desert hairy scorpion. Oh, wow. They have a long gestation period. But they have a ton of babies. So maybe I should go with a scorpion. Another of my all-time favorite. Nope, not really. Not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of, like, creepy crawlies. I like snakes. I'm not a fan of creepy crawly bugs, though. Any bug. Like, sc scorpions are not... Ooh. I could do that frog. But then again, they're not all that enticing to guests. We've got them. Why are there so few? I really want the salmon pink scorpions, though. Or the centipedes, neither of which are showing up right now. So... I don't know, I might need to check back. Or... I could do the wandering spider. What do I need for that? Average... Interbirth period is 11 months, but if I'm constantly switching out spiders, it shouldn't matter. They have two to four and their incubation period is one month. Okay! Yeah, I could do that. Ugh. Why? Why did you have to bring them up so close? Close it! Close it! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Don't like spiders. Okay. I'm going to get the Brazilian wandering spider then. Unless, of course, they've added the other ones. Nope. All right, then. I will get this one. And this one. Arturo and Michaela send to zoo. I have to get a keeper set up there. Brazilian wandering spider. Temperature is almost kind of where it needs to be. There. What's humidity doing? 67? Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Wait, why is it still yelling at me? There. Okay. Good. Good. I'm gonna just... I mean, I only need two keepers right now, right? So let's, uh... I guess I could have the keeper that's taking care of the taper... Or the man, it doesn't really matter. I'll let him do it. Although, no, you know what? I'm gonna have the other one do it because that's the one closest. There. But then the vet needs to be able to access that too. Oh, no, wait, no, it doesn't. No, we're fine. Uh, that should be good, right? Yeah, I'm low on cash. Calm down. All right. There we go. T tickets are underpriced? Well, hey. Let me increase that for you. Wait, three? Why did it drop to three? Didn't I have it at like six before? Why was it at three? I didn't mean for it to be at three. I think I was supposed to have it at eight and four, right? I don't know what happened. Let's see if that helps. Are people still entering? Let's see. Yeah. What are your thoughts? The zoo ticket price is fair. Fair. Okay, so maybe it's a little too high now. How about six? There. What do you think? 
fair. What? Deal with it. <laughs> I need money to build stuff, people. Fair, fair. Oh my god. All right. Five and three. I don't know why I'm worrying so much about this. It'll it'll even out eventually. Okay, you know what? I'm not lowering it anymore. Stop being a butthead. Okay. Now let me increase the Titan Beetle habitat. I don't know if I'm supposed to put every single one of those on, but I usually do. Oh my god! <laughs> They've already had more kids? Holy moly. All right. Oh, wait. I need one of those. Okay. How about the puff adders? Here we go. Okay. Uh... Okay, have they had- um, I doubt it, but let's see. Okay. Hey, at least I can sell some more of them. Nice! That should help stop the game from yelling at me that I don't have any money. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put an education board in front of the- in front of this habitat, so let's do that. And put that. People, you're in my way. There we go. Wandering spider. Okay. I wonder if I should have these this side of the wall blocked out because they can see each other? Does that matter? I actually don't know. But there is the option to close the windows, so... That was a good guess. Alright. And then... Nope. Alright, so one is on the left, then. There. Okay. Now they have no idea that the other ones are there. Okay. Can't find an accessible staff room. Already? I mean, I guess I could put another one in. Really? Ugh. Actually, I should put a second staff room over here somewhere for the vendors. That actually would be a good reason to have a work zone for the vendors. Hang on. Path. Just like that. Facilities. Uh, not that close to... I think that's far enough away? Let's see. I can't tell where the paths are. Oh, yeah, no, we're good. It's definitely far enough away because it doesn't even get to that tree. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do... What am I doing? is make a work zone nope not the bathrooms and just call it vendors because they can trade off who's using which building and then actually i should call it like vendors entrance or something because there's going to be more vendors elsewhere Okay. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I think I have to put the mechanic on the ATM, if I remember correctly. And do the caretakers need to have the bathrooms? I don't remember. But that should help, because now I have an extra staff building for the vendors, so they're not going all the way over here and taking up space in this one. Dude, I just made you a new one. Stop. All right. I think it's looking pretty good. We've got another exhibit. Got another, got a bunch of spaces here for vendors and the bathroom. And next time I will put in some more habitats, probably on this side next. Have it branch out and then I'll do something other than tropical because these two species here are tropical. So I'll put something else over there that's in a different biome. I just haven't decided which one yet. Um, also, if you want me to name an animal after you, please let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to do that in the next episode. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.